And one of the hardest, most difficult decisions for anyone to consider is organ donation, particularly, obviously, at that sensitive time when you have to make that choice, and whether you can offer that gift of life when you've lost something. Mm. For a parent faced with the agony of losing a child, you can imagine that that decision is fraught, of course, with heartache and untold emotion. Two women who were already friends both faced that dilemma. Here's their story. A couple of years ago, we lost our son, Teddy, and he became the UK's youngest organ donor. A part of Teddy is still living on, and he, you know, he did go on to save someone's life. And he, the extended lives that he will save, you know, it's not just that one lady, but it just goes on and on and on. So, very proud. My husband and I knew Jess through a, a mutual charity that we support. And following her appearance on the Pride of Britain, um, Stewie and I sat down and he told me in no uncertain terms that he totally agreed with organ donation. Unfortunately, um, Stewie and Fraser were struck by a car and um, Stewie passed at the scene and Fraser sadly passed away later on that evening. The question was raised whether I'd consider to donate Fraser's organs. I knew what Stewie would have wanted me to do and that Fraser would as well because Fraser cared about everybody and therefore I knew that he would want me to make some good out of this awful tragedy. And Anna Louise Bates joins us now and um, her father Paul is here as well. Um, Anna Louise, you were on the programme a little bit earlier on and we've been overwhelmed with messages of support for you. Uh, you know, what you've been through is unimaginable for the rest of us. And I really appreciate the fact that, you know, you've had the courage to speak out. It's, it's important for you, isn't it, that you find some sort of strength in the darkness of what's happened through knowing that this organ donation has been so powerful and important. It, that is it completely. This has given me the strength to actually continue to wake up in the morning for Elizabeth and I and to carry on. And the support that us as a family have received since the accident has been phenomenal. Within one week, the charity that Stewie and I used to cycle for to wish upon a star had received £34,000 worth of donations. The following week then, we realised that this donation was really, really important and to get the awareness. Mm. And with the support of my family, we've managed to set up a new charity called Believe to raise awareness as to the um, organ donation and also to provide support for those that are going through the difficult situation that uh, we've had to deal with. Mm. And since setting up Believe, we've managed to receive over £20,000 worth of donations for Believe. Um, on top of that support, I've received um, donations of Sky Cycling shirts signed, um, which will be auctioned off. Um, Sir Bradley Wiggins even sent me a signed cycling shirt. Um, uh, we've received Premiership football shirts. Cardiff City have been amazing. Um, and I've even received a, a special letter from Bear Grylls. Mm. We saw a picture, yeah, there's the letter. We saw a picture of, of, of Fraser and his, is it Beavers? He was Beavers, yeah. <laughs> Which he, he looked like he absolutely loved. Oh, Fraser was such an outdoor boy. Um, when it was on the news yesterday about children getting away from their tablets, I couldn't get Fraser inside to play <laughs> on the tablets. And he loved camping, he loved everything to do with Bear Grylls. And, and so what did, did Bear Stewie. Say in the letter? He said in the uh, letter, if I can just read it out here, you should be incredibly proud of the huge joy they've brought to others and the, com and the wonderful contribution they've made to Scouts to Life and to the four further lives they saved. Mm. He goes on then just to say how it's clear that Fraser lit up the lives around him and, um, and also about how wonderful Stewie was as well. And it was, it's actually signed by him mm. and it was sent to me personally. Mm. And Fraser was called Bear because of Fraser Bear, but also because of Stu and my love of Bear Grylls. How so thank you, Bear. <laughs> Paul, you know, an unimaginable horror has befallen your family and, um, you know, our hearts go out to all of you. Um, I think 
you know, knowing that four lives have been saved from the donation, this little boy's organs, what is the impact of that on the family in the wake of what you're experiencing? The, the comfort that we have had from knowing that Fraser and Stewie's deaths have not been in vain, that we saved other people's lives, but we've also learned through the process that the pathway from the beginning to the end is a little more difficult than it ought to be. Mm. And I feel there should be close scrutiny of the procedures involved to make it easier for other people. Mm.